What is happening, guys? Call of Duty Black Ops Kid here, coming at you with a Samsung Galaxy Note 9 review. Now, this thing is seven and a half inches long, four and a half inches wide, quarter inch thick. Now, the very dynamics of this phone is very sleek, optimal, and amazing, as well as the best camera and optics on the market. When in terms of clicking on the stylus, it's great it's really responsive it's the biggest phone i've ever had i went from a samsung 4 to a samsung 7 to a samsung note 9 so it's extremely responsive i love the stylus so far um there's a lot of unique things that you can do with this phone uh, bigsby operator to make you do an alternative things like send the next text, respond to voicemails, this stuff like that. Nothing extremely responsive as in Siri, like asking her certain type of questions, but you can ask her to give her quotes and other things. Bigsby's vision is the big part of this phone with having being able to with Bigsby being able to look take a picture of shoes, for example, and find out a place to where to get them. I've never really tried this out too much because hey, it doesn't really have an effect. I've tried it once. It was pretty cool Open to gallery. see where I could buy a pair of glasses at like Vision Doctor. The Samsung Note 9 has a new built-in AR or emoji function, which is actually pretty cool to respond to. Creating it is really easy. It pretty much pulls everything from your facial recognition. Obviously, it's gonna be a lot cartoony because it's just an AR emoji. But basically, the frontal camera is an 8 megapixel, front is 12 megapixel, and everything shoots in 4K photo and video. The resolution is actually extremely extravagant, and there's a lot of new features like uh, selfie focus and a lot of other things, but not a lot of iteration with new technology. The only downside to the camera is sometimes it zooms in a lot. There's not a lot of like backlash from it. The photos are amazing and videos are very responsive as well as 60 frames per second. There's a lot of new features on the app screen uh, like Dolby Atmos, the S Pen remote and edge lighting as well as phone visibility and secure folder. There's a lot of cool things like if you swipe over to the right hand side of the screen you can pull open apps like contacts, Google, YouTube, uh, things like that. It's pretty cool to see all this stuff. Something that I wasn't used to uh, on other phones and stuff like that. You can, of course, disable this, but I think it's really an initiative. The S Pen is probably the most innovative thing and pretty much the Samsung Note 9 has going for it. There's a lot of different styluses you can use and different sized um, pens you can use, as well as, you know, 14 million color combinations you can use like drawing and other things, writing down notes, whatever it is. I like to use the S, S note to uh, do a couple things. Like I, I'm planning on doing like a new YouTube picture uh, possibly with this because I'm just used to using a uh, Photoshop on my computer without a stylus. So there's a lot of things there. Pin up is also another app uh, that is on there that can let your kids interact with certain things like coloring books and stuff like that. So if you have like a kid, um, with, uh, if you're they get bored, you can always give them the stylus and go up to pin up. Got a lot of cool varieties with colors and other things like that. The best part of the Samsung Note 9 is uh, when you pull up the stylus, you can just screenshot the screen by using the screenshot button. Say if you're in a call, you can write down milk, eggs, groceries, stuff like that. I think that's probably the best thing about it. Um, me and my girlfriend were on the go a lot, so we don't get to communicate or we're apart, uh, working different shifts or whatever. So I like to write down things uh, if we were on the phone together or whatever. Uh, it really helps out with that, and that's probably the coolest thing, I think. Um, the the phone has never lagged out on me. Apps never crash, anything else like that. So um, the phone is extremely responsive. If you guys have the Samsung 7, I always had a great, great reaction with the 7, but the Note 9 all around has had so much more iterations. They have live drawing, which if you're an artist is great. Uh, me, I don't really have a purpose for it. Uh, just kind of something I would like to do in my my downtime, or like I said, if you have kids, or if you're you know trying to you know draw yourself even possibly for like a Facebook picture or something, you can definitely do that on this phone. It's pretty cool. Um, 
when it comes down to specs, this is the most powerful phone on the market, as well as 128 gigabytes uh, with the standard phone. I think the there's a 518 gigabyte version of the phone. It's like 200 extra dollars. So if you're constantly running out of memory, that is something I definitely recommend. Uh, but honestly, if you're not like downloading movies or have a million millions of songs, uh, 128 or 100 and I th- 112 gigabyte phone is is extremely a lot uh, for me especially having you know multiple access to a computer and things like that I don't think I really need it if you don't have a computer I definitely uh, might recommend the 528 gig mainly because you can take a lot of pictures with this phone or have over mil- hundreds and thousands of hours of video or st- uh, you know store a lot of personal files on this thing uh, especially 528 gigabytes you would never fill it up and does have expendable storage up to 528 more gigabytes so you can really have a one terabyte phone which is extremely over the top i think um all the capture and everything was all done on the samsung note 9 except for the recording of the samsung note 9 that was quality from uh obviously my samsung s7 which both camera qualities are pretty pretty average they're of course top of the line phones so the camera resolution is amazing and better thing and better than anything out there on the market Uh, if you guys have any more questions about the samsung galaxy note 9 make sure you guys comment your questions or if there's anything you guys have any questions about about the phone that i might have not have answered or if you guys are having problems with your samsung note 9 i could probably try to adjust it as i am currently talking with tech coaches all the time about this new phone trying to figure out more features i've had this phone for about a week now and uh, it's pretty new so i thought i'd give you guys my review and a little aspect of the phone there's a lot more things that you can probably do on it but a lot of the things that uh, you can do really don't need to be covered because most of the other phones have them already this is kind of just broadcasting the new um the new features of this phone the samsung note 8 or samsung eight phones had a Bigsby, but Bigsby is like 2.0 on this one and can do a lot more things that the other phones can. I hope you guys really enjoyed the uh, review. I don't know if I'll ever do one in the future. I do like to do game reviews and other technical reviews as well. Uh, So make sure you guys subscribe if you like this kind of content or if you guys are more of a gamer unlike other types of reviews, make sure you subscribe. That would be very appreciated. Liking the video also shows great support and it helps me create more content just like this. And make sure you have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.